On 30th July, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshwardhan said that the government is planning to increase the everyday COVID-19 tests from the current figures of 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs per day in the next two months. He also said that the country's recovery rate is more than 64% with fatality rate at around 2.2%. If you have been following the news reports, then you must have noticed one thing that the cases are rising rapidly in India. More than 50,000 cases are reported every day and it keeps making new records every day, which is a cause of concern. So far, India has tested more than 2 crore samples. Amid all of these, a widespread debate has erupted of as to why the numbers increased exponentially. Some say the numbers are increasing due to increase in testings, while some others say that numbers are actually increasing and have increased because the situation is really bad. According to virologist and former professor at Velour based Christian Medical College, Dr. T. Jacob John, the coronavirus peak is expected in mid-August or few days later in the second week of August, depending on testings. On 22nd June, WHO's Emergency Programs Executive Director Mike Ryan had also said that coronavirus cases reaching record numbers globally are not just the result of more testing. The WHO basically meant that increase in cases is not just because of more testing. Uttar Pradesh has started carrying out over 1 lakh testings in state per day, but there are many other states that seriously need more tests. States like Telangana, Bihar, Haryana, West Bengal, Odisha and Madhya Pradesh are really lagging behind in testing, as per experts. Some experts and commentators are saying that the increase in testing is one of the key reasons for the rise in the number of people detected to be infected with the disease. As per reports, the results of a serological survey conducted in Mumbai that was published on 28 July, around 40% were found to have developed antibodies for the novel coronavirus. Reports suggest that these 40% were infected with the virus at some point without knowing about it. As per media reports in Andhra Pradesh, the expected cases of COVID-19 cases would have been around 55,000 as per increasing test proportionality, but actual figures were more than 88,000 cases. In simple terms, the rise in cases were 60% more than expected figures in proportion with increasing tests till July 25th. In Karnataka also, there were more than 85,000 cases, which is 30% more than 66,000 expected figures. Reports also suggest that this disproportionate rise was by more than 10% in 13 states of the 21 largest states. Many states also had 20% more than expected cases as per increasing tests. In states like Assam, Uttarakhand, Chhattisgarh, JNK, Punjab, the actual cases were between 10 to 20 percent more than expected figures in line with increased testings. As per media reports, Uttar Pradesh had gap of 9.7 percent, Rajasthan had 8.3 percent and Madhya Pradesh had 5.5 percent. But interestingly, Delhi had 8.4 percent less than the expected figures in proportion to increase in testing. Now let's talk about national figure. Reports suggest that expected figures of cases as per increasing tests should have been 12.3 lakhs in the last month. But the numbers were more than 9% of the expected figures at 13.4 lakhs on July 25th. So the question is, are numbers increasing because of increasing testings or the virus has actually spreaded so deep in the communities?